An act of kindness creates a buzz in the Wabash Valley. Hey, it happened earlier this week when workers clearing the way for a new road stumbled upon a huge beehive. News says Joe Ostrowski tells you the story of those bees and of the people who watched after them. The bold buzzing of bees. It's a sound that makes a lot of people jumpy. But for Perry and Beverly Riley, it's the sound of an animal they've grown to love. They're remarkable animals. And, and it's, uh, it's important to have them. For the past six years, the Rileys have been raising bees of their own. They say it's important work since many bee colonies are dying off. It's a trend they hope they can help reverse. I want to save the environment. Mm -hmm. And it's a justice to get these bees and save them. On Wednesday, Perry and Beverly got a call asking them to do just that. Workers clearing the way for Vigo County's new 641 bypass came across an eight-foot-tall beehive. One of the excavator guys was Claire and he called me over and he said, hey, there's a bunch of bees in this tree. So I just basically told him, hang on, don't take that tree down. They called in the Rileys, who found more than 100 pounds of honey and plenty of bees in the hive. They brought both bees and honey back home. Here's some of the comb and we put that on there and they'll take and transfer this honey. And they say wild bees like these are often the best. One, there's several reasons. First of all, if they're here and they have survived this climate, this is what they're used to, they're adapted to this. And so they're a stronger bee. And they're also grateful for the chance to help their pollinating pals. So they just want to save the bees. And they see, you see they save the hive. And to help take the sting out of progress. In Vigo County with photojournalist Tony Cassasia, Joe Ostrowski, News 10. The Rileys say they sell their honey in local stores and farmers markets. They also sell beekeeping supplies online.